hello all welcome to another th class of uh, acrylic painting so this is the painting which we'll be doing these are the same colors which we used earlier for our first painting if you haven't checked check the link given below so let's start with the painting i've just put the masking tape in the center and same board that is the mdf board which i'm using here so let's start with the painting so here I'll be using my filbert brush and red and deep yellow and a little bit of white I'm just taking and a little bit black also I'll mix to it because I want a little darker tone and a little bit of grayish tone in that so I've just added a little bit of black to it and again I'm adding a little bit more black and red to it so just painting the upper part that is the background with my filbert brush but you if you have flat brush you can use flat brush you can use any brush whichever you like so corners also is a bit dark and in the center it is quite bright so i'm just making the corners both the sides of the corners a little bit dark with this the same color so this is the second video which i am uploading here after the first one which i uploaded in the previous saturday weekend so this is the second landscape tutorial so just adding the light color that is the lemon yellow to it to make it little bright in the center because it is a little sunset painting so the center has to be little more brighter than the sides part so just adding this darker orange and this deep yellow in the below and the center is still quite light in color because i have added their lemon yellow here lemon yellow plays a very important role to create the brightness of the sun actually so again just adding a bit of more of this uh, red and deep yellow so just adding now I'll, I'll add little bit of lemon yellow in the center to make it more brighter even if the the background of the club sky is not even it still look beautiful because there are clouds in them and it looks like a like a messy effect of the clouds that there are so many clouds with different colors actually so again red and black and a little bit of this cat deep yellow and just adding a bit of more of this and to the sides like we did earlier for the upper part now one thing you have to keep in mind when you are using acrylic painting is that don't use too much amount of water when you are doing it the water on your brush is more than enough to make the brush and the colors flow we don't want to we don't want the color to be a watercolor type we want thick color so don't use a uh, acrylic color as watercolor because it pigments breaks the pigmentation in between the, the binder which binds the color breaks so don't add too much of water in these acrylic colors there are separate acrylic inks which are in market you can use that as a watercolor don't use these uh, colors as a watercolor first the background is done so let's start with more of the detailing so again the same brush a little bit red deep yellow and this black mix mix it well and just try to create a nice hill top uh, which is at very distant just with the same brush which i'm using and just i'm trying to just fill in this color with the lighter tone of uh, this color 
because I don't want it to be very dark so I have added very less amount of black in it and just a mountain which is little bit up the sides and going down very simple painting for beginners anyone can do it without drawing it so here I haven't drawn anything I've just started the painting and you can do just like that without drawing anything with your brush just use the tip of the brush to create those lines now again I'm adding a little bit of uh, this lemon yellow very thick amount of lemon yellow to make it more bright and don't use too much of water when you're using this thick color because then only that brightness will come up when you are using thick color and on your brush also don't use water just wipe out that water from your brush and then use this thick color then it will give a nice bright to the sky as you can see now here I'm using my blender brush to create again the center of the sun just a dot and that's it you can also use your some round thing to create this thing I like this blender brush because you can blend the sides of this easily with uh, your brush and this is the Princeton blender brush which I am using here and it's a very nice brush I use it often for many of my paintings now you can see the brightness when we use just this white color now with my rigger brush I'm just adding more white to it to make it little more thick and more even so slowly slowly we are progressing towards the painting we have done the upper part now the middle part and the foreground is left background is done so the middle part will just add this yellow and little bit of black mix and I'll just cover this part. I'm just covering this white area. very slowly I'm just covering it even if there is line we will create water effect these lines will go away so not an issue okay now let's take this flat brush and with the tip of the brush I'll try to create these water effect as we did earlier for our first painting if you remember that we did last weekend if you haven't seen please do watch it and just adding this layer of uh, just with the tip of your brush you have to add these uh, textures don't use the entire brush just the tip of the brush so just adding this uh, color with little bit more of black to it so that it is little more visible not too much black don't add too much black to it the color should be darker than the color which you have used as a base just repeating the same technique and We'll fill the entire uh, water over here and to the below area I'm just making it a little more extended the lines so that because as we go near to the water we can see more bigger ripples. So Just creating a little bit bigger lines with the same brush. you can see how the water effect is coming up 
so just adding a bit more of this red in between these colors so that it becomes little blended now we will create these uh, sun rays which are falling on the water so it's a similar painting it's not much of a difference but similar but little different so with the same brush just below that sun i'm just adding yellow and white and just doing just using the edge of this brush and creating these effect very simple and easy to create the reflection of the water so add more of white and less of yellow then only that brightness will come up now once we are done with uh, this part we'll also create here the palm tree which is not visible fully but half of the palm tree is there so here i will use my rigger brush and just make this uh, black color little fluid when you are creating any lines now earlier we were not using too much of water but when you are creating certain lines you have to make the color little fluid fluid means the color has to be black it should not turn into gray but the color should be movable and it should not be thick otherwise you will end up creating thick lines so try to make the colors little bit fluid and use your rigger brush or liner brush for creating these lines so here i am just creating a simple palm tree which is not fully visible but half of the leaves are visible from the side you can create full palm tree if you want and if you are trying out these this painting please do share me share your paintings on instagram that is mohini art gallery and don't forget to like subscribe share you can see i'm just creating this little diagonal lines and very thin lines of these uh, leaves so when your color is in liquid form then only you will be able to create such fine lines if your color is thick you will not be able to create such fine lines so just enjoy the process of creating simple diagonal lines very close to each other same process is being repeated on all the leaves just the little bit of directions is being changed that's it otherwise same technique is there on and the entire leaves so i hope you guys are enjoying this uh, video and don't forget to like subscribe share and also if you want any if you have any questions any comments please do let me know so that i can solve your problems or any queries whatever you have for the painting for acrylic medium how to use acrylic medium which brushes to use any sort of uh, queries you have you can definitely ask me or dm me on my instagram that is mohini art gallery so this painting is almost complete we are done with the tree and then the painting is uh, ready so this is a small uh, can painting which i have done and you can try it on a paper or a sheet or a canvas board anything whichever you like you can try it on anything so just make sure that when you're using paper don't prime it just use it directly otherwise you can prime the canvases and the mdf board 
please do prime it and then start with the painting so this is it and thank you